So what is going on everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to step away from the normal automotive content that I bring you just because I like to mix things up every now and then and do something a little bit different. But I do have a very nice background back here for you guys to look at just in case you do get bored throughout this video. So feel free to scan back there and check out the automotive beauty that is from up here at this angle. Um, but what I want to talk about today is what the average YouTuber makes off of YouTube. And I'm going to use myself as an example. Um, I figure I'm probably a good representative of the average YouTuber. Uh, not a very big channel, not a lot of views, just a very minimal amount of income, which is pretty much like most YouTubers out there. Um, so I'll get into that and I'll tell you guys what, uh, what I make, what I made last year, or what have you, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. It seems as though whenever I talk to people about making money off of YouTube, there's two responses. Uh, the first response, not necessarily the most prominent, but the first response is, yeah, those YouTubers make a lot of money. No, we don't. Um, and the second response is, really, you can make money off YouTube? Yes, you actually can make money off YouTube. Um, you have to have a certain number of subscribers. I believe it's like a thousand subscribers. And then you have to have so many views a year, it's not a lot of views. And if you do that, then you can actually make money. What, what YouTube will do with your permission, of course, is they will monetize your videos. So they will put ads in your videos, beginning, middle, end, wherever they deem fit. And what happens is we as creators get a certain percentage of that video, uh, whatever is made off that uh, commercial or that ad, and then YouTube gets the other portion of it. I think it's like a 55-45 split. Um, and of course, if people watch the videos longer or if they click on the ad, then that money goes up a little bit. Um, but you'll be surprised at how real little it really is. So my channel, relatively small channel, I got a little over 4,000 subscribers. My average views is about where I sit every month is between 15 and 20,000 views a month, which to some might sound like a lot, it's not very much. There are YouTubers out there getting millions of views every month and they're the ones that are really making good money. And there are certainly people who can make very good money off YouTube. Most of us are making very, very little. Um, what I made last year when I got my W4 from Google, I think it was like 872 bucks. I'm not, it was 870 something. So very minimal amount. So lifetime earnings from YouTube, I believe is probably right around a thousand dollars, maybe just a hair over. And I've been doing this about two and a half years. So, but like I said, relatively small channel. Um, now, a lot of people believe, okay, well, this YouTube channel has a hundred thousand subscribers; they must make a lot of money. No, not necessarily, because it's all about the views. There are channels out there that have very few subscribers but get big views every month, and they can make very good money. Uh, there are other channels out there that have well over 100,000 subscribers and they're really not getting that many views and quite honestly some that are only making maybe about what I'm making, maybe a little bit more. All of this can be found on, on the internet. If you go to the Social Blade, you can look up your favorite YouTuber, put, it, uh, put them in there and it'll tell you basically the grade of our channel and how we're doing and how we did on this video or that video and it'll give you like a high and low as to what we make off our channel and usually somewhere in between is about where we're at. That's, that's a pretty good average. So if you want to figure out what your favorite YouTuber is making, you can certainly do that. Now, there are some YouTubers that I follow very closely, um, have a lot of subscribers, get a lot of views and everything like that. And like one in particular, uh, he used to be making right around 300000 a year just off YouTube. And I noticed that his income has dropped. I don't know if something's changed or adjusted with YouTube's algorithm or what, but the amount of money that he's making has dropped almost in half, and that's a pretty substantial drop. Now, still, 150000 a year is a really good income by anybody's standard, but um, it's not as much as people think. Uh, as a matter of fact, pretty much a standard view for one view, we get 0 .03 cents a view on the average. So it takes about three or four views to even get one penny. So yeah, it takes quite a bit to make any significant money. Now some YouTubers, they have businesses that they are able to advertise uh, over their channel and they make money off that. Uh, they have merchandise and things like that that they sell to make a little bit of extra money. And certainly that's a good way to do it. That's a good way to kind of supplement the YouTube income. But 
YouTube is not something that most people can go out and make a full-time income off of. Um, some of them are doing it, but not too many people. Most of the time, it's just a hobby, kind of like what this channel is. It's just a hobby, doing something fun, having a good time, and just bringing you as good a content as I can with my abilities. So now it might make a little sense why I always say at the very end that my Venmo is in the description below. I figure if there's a few people out there that enjoy the content and want to throw me a couple of bucks, I appreciate it. This stuff gets relatively expensive. I gotta pay insurance, I gotta pay registration. Um, there's always upkeep and things to do as far as that goes. And it does get pricey. Um, definitely YouTube income doesn't come anywhere close to covering it. Now granted, even if I didn't have the channel, I would still be doing this. I'd still have these vehicles. I'd still be playing with them. I'd still be doing stuff with them, obviously. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of help and to offset the cost a little bit. So it's nice when every couple of months I get a deposit in my checking account from um, Google, from YouTube, for 150 bucks, whatever it ends up being. It helps out a little bit. Um, the biggest reward, obviously, that I get is my subscribers, the people that watch the videos, the people that comment on my videos, uh, the people that support the channel. I certainly met some really great people through the channel. Uh, I have people come by the, the, the shop here and visit the shop and tour, which I'm always open to anybody who is a subscriber who follows the channel. The shop's open. All you got to do is just get a hold of me through Instagram or what have you and come on by and you're more than welcome to come hang out, talk cars, go for a ride, whatever. We'll make it happen. I'm happy to do that anytime. So that's really been the biggest reward for me for doing YouTube videos. Now, I've talked about this, and I'm going to say again, I have backed off on the videos a little bit. I'm not doing as many as I used to. Um, I'm working now, busy with a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. So basically, it's when I feel like I have a video or something that's interesting that's worth putting on YouTube, or, you know, number two is when I have the time. I mean, I gotta, I gotta work all this stuff in. So, whereas before I was maybe doing a couple videos a week, now I'm doing more like a couple, two or three videos a month. So, I do appreciate all the people who hang in there with me and continue to subscribe and support the channel, watch the videos, and especially the comments. That is one thing I've gotta say, I love the comments. Every time I get a comment on a video, I love it. Even if it's a video I did a year and a half ago or whatever, I really do appreciate it. I try to respond to all my comments. I, everybody that says anything so thank you keep the comments coming it is very much appreciated okay so with that being said um, I do have some stuff coming I have some ideas I've had rolling around in my head now for about six months and I want to put them into play it's just a matter of getting out and actually doing it spending the time and filming the video and then editing it and putting it together um, I did promise you guys that I was gonna take you through the Chevelle build as far as getting the paint done and everything like that and I did get everything fixed and everything smoothed out, which I'll talk about in the next video. And we are going to do a vinyl stripe basically over the car and try to make it look good, try to fix it up really nicely. And I've got a few updates on the car that I want to talk about. And then of course, there's some other stuff I've got going on. Uh, my wife and I are planning on doing some car events right here at the shop. And we're going to invite a bigger group of people, hopefully get more people to show up and have a good time there. So I will definitely be doing videos on those. And then of course, there's cars and coffees, there's car shows and things like that. The weather's getting nicer, car season's coming around, it's time to have a good time. So there will be some stuff coming, definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, I do appreciate it. So ending on that note, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, my Instagram, my PO Box, and as always, Venmo will be in the description below. And with that, as always, God bless, take care, have an absolutely amazing day.